What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your HP 65S black speakers. So as you can see, it comes with the speakers themselves, and each speaker has a mounting bracket so you can mount each speaker onto your wall. It also comes with four knobs, so two for each speaker to attach each speaker onto the mounting brackets. You also have some foam pads for the top of the mounting brackets. Two sets of speaker wire to connect your speakers to your receiver, and it also comes with some mounting hardware. So let's talk about how to mount our speakers to a wall. For today, I'm going to be mounting them onto this drywall here, and if you also plan on mounting your speakers onto a drywall, we recommend you get quarter inch screws and quarter inch anchors. If the space that you're planning on mounting your speakers onto has a stud behind it, you won't need the anchors at all. And to find out if there is a stud behind your wall, you can always use a stud finder. Also keep in mind, studs are typically placed 16 or 24 inches apart, so that's the amount of spacing you would need if you plan on mounting multiple speakers. But again, that's only if you have studs behind your wall, and for today, we have no stud behind our wall here, so we're gonna be using the anchors. So the first thing we are gonna to wanna to do when mounting our speakers is decide where exactly we want our speakers placed. So to do that, I'm going to take one of my mounting brackets here, just make sure that the holes of your bracket are lined up this way with this backwards L shape when placing it against your wall. So I'm gonna take the mounting bracket and choose a spot on my wall where I want it mounted. Once you have it lined up the way you want, you're gonna take a pen or pencil to mark your holes here. We recommend marking it by this top line here just so we know how exactly it's gonna sit on our wall. If you want, you can also make holes by this middle hole here or these holes here on the very top and very bottom of your bracket. And that way you can run your speaker wire through any of these holes for a nice organized setup. So now we're gonna take a drill with a quarter inch drill bit because we're using quarter inch anchors and quarter inch screws. And we're gonna make the holes here where we made our marks before. After we've made our holes, we're gonna take two of our quarter inch anchors and feed them through the holes. Now chances are they're not gonna fit through right away, so you can take a hammer to push them in a bit further. So now that the anchors are all set up here, we can take our mounting bracket and line it back up. Line up two of our screws and use a drill to secure the bracket onto our wall. And now we have our bracket nice and secure to the wall. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is mount our speaker to the bracket. To do that, we're gonna take two of our knobs here and we're also going to need our speaker. Now there's a couple of different options we have when lining up these screw knobs. So we have these holes here by the front and these holes here by the back. For today, we'll be using the very front holes here. So when looking at your speaker, you'll see this hole here at the top and this hole here at the bottom. So you're gonna line these holes up to the holes here on your mounting bracket. Then you're gonna take your screw knobs and run them through each hole. And then you'll just tighten these knobs up to secure your speaker onto the bracket. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you don't have these screw knobs tightened up all the way, you then have the flexibility of swiveling your speaker so that it's hitting your ear at the perfect angle. And then once you have it set to the perfect angle, you can just tighten these knobs all the way up to lock it in place. Now this is just the setup if you wanted to mount your speaker vertically like this one here, but you also have the ability to mount your speaker horizontally, kind of like this. That setup is very similar to the setup we just did, except the main difference is you wanna take your speaker bracket and set it up to your walls sideways, just like this. Make the marks at the top of your L-shaped holes here, and then from there, you're gonna follow the same steps by making the marks, making the holes for your anchors and screws. And once you have the bracket set up to your wall, you're gonna use these screw knobs to set up your speaker horizontally instead of vertically. And once you have your first speaker all set up, you're gonna follow the same exact steps, whether it's vertical or horizontal, to set up your second speaker. So now that we've got our speakers all set up to our wall here, let's talk about how to set it up to our receiver. Now these speakers are four ohm, which means they would work with any standard four ohm receiver like this one here. So if you set up one speaker 
to the left channel and one speaker to the right channel. That's a perfect match for impedance. But one thing you don't want to do is set up two speakers for the left and right channels because that would bring the impedance to two ohms, which could risk damaging your speakers and or receiver. But if you do happen to have a two ohm stereo receiver, you can do two speakers per left and right channel and parallel wire them to connect to your receiver. So with that out of the way, let's connect our speakers to our receiver. To do that, we're gonna take the included speaker wire that came with our speakers and we're gonna want to set them up to the positive and negative terminals on the back of our speakers and the positive and negative terminals on the back of our receiver. So we're gonna loosen up our mounting bracket just a little bit here so that we have access to the positive and negative terminals on the back of our speakers. Next, we'll take our speaker wire. And the cool thing about these terminals is that you can push them to open up the terminals to feed your speaker wire. So when we take our speaker wire here, we're gonna push down on the positive and the negative terminal, feed our speaker wire through the holes here. And again, you wanna match the red positive to the positive terminal and the black negative to the negative terminal. If you want, you can use the hole here at the bottom of the bracket to keep your speaker wire more organized. You can also make an additional hole behind your speaker by using the middle hole here of your bracket, for example, to run your speaker wire through there instead for a nice organized setup. So once we have our speaker wire set up to our speakers, we're gonna take the other ends and plug them into the positive and negative terminals here on the back of our receiver. So now that the speakers are all set up to your receiver, we can go ahead and play some music to hear how they sound. So hopefully to show you guys how easy it is to set up your HP65S black speakers, but of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.